Good evening everybody, the JMH guy here. So, after a long time of not cooking anything, I'm about to cook something new. Uh, tonight's uh, menu will be a uh, snack, dinner, something of that matter. Uh, one of my actual uh, favorites actually. So when I turn these, actually I did this once for a college course credit. I didn't cook it live, but man, good times at Raz. Good times. Anywho, so basically, I'm going to be making my, uh, I don't know, the JMH guy's potatoes. I learned them from my mom and my sister, or sister than my mom. So, uh, first off, uh, I prefer personally red skin potatoes over white. Um, whatever the frick these ones are called. Anywho. Let's get started. But I'm first washing them. Actually, before that, I should have. I should have washed. The cutting board. The cutting board. Okay, that should be fine. All right. So, next thing, choose a choose a trusty knife. Me, I'm just I'm just getting whatever that frig I can get. Now you can cut them in chunky parts or thin strips. Personally, I prefer thin strips because it soaks up the flavor from the spices of which I'll be using shortly. Um, and so forth. This will take, well, depends how quick you are. I'm no Gordon Ramsay or uh, uh, Coquillo Captain or some stuff like that. I'm just the JMH guy. I'm just the average complete completely normal dude one potato down four more to go because I only have five potatoes in the fridge and I did not get any more friggin potatoes and so forth oh yeah there we go now the thinner you cut them up the easier it is for them to cook Less surface area, you know, nerd 101 moment. A. So. We'll see. There we go. Okay, so. Obviously, the more potatoes you have, the more uh, you can cook. This one looks unusual. Slash, so not right. Okay, so now that I got all these, next thing I want to do Alright, welcome back everybody. So, just heating up this pan. That's it. So the next thing you'll need is, I prefer uh, olive oil, or vegetable oil, either. So, now, their potatoes in after you choose vegetable olive oil. Honestly, there's different benefits to both, but olive oil is much healthier from what I understand. Don't take my nutrition advice. I'm not any Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
Although it would be cool to hang out with him someday. I'd be like, and he'd be like, yeah, that's good. Let's have some bacon. soft on the inside and crunchy. Kind of like roasting a marshmallow, just completely different. A like golden outside and then soft inside. Just give it that nice balanced flavor. The beauty of this is the flexibility. Montreal chicken. You can use different spices, but this, it is amazing. Honestly, the amount of spice you put on depends. Like, do you want it to be like full of spice and flavor, or do you want it to be uh, natural or something like that? I like lots of spice, but again, not anything crazy. Because then the salt from the spice takes over. Then it's like, whoa, dude, too much spice, dude. I know, dude. Some of them are already getting a nice crunch on. That's why you want to heat up the pan sooner than later. I, but I think needs to be more, I think a little more spice. It's a little too light for me. So I like, I like it mixed. Thank goodness Gordon Ramsay's not watching this because he'll be like, what the, what are you doing? What the, oh shit. Sorry, Grandma, if you're watching. There, yeah. I love stove top, top cooking. Stove top cooking. Because there's just so much flexibility in what you can do. So much. Back on to, uh, while I'm waiting for this to cook, I'm thinking of doing that as I mentioned uh, or a little earlier in this video. Uh, uh, um, I don't know, I don't know, daily or weekly talk show featuring three subjects or three things that come to mind. And honestly, they'll be either random or pretty straightforward. But either way, you'll get a very JMH guy answer to everything and explanation. For those of you that know me personally, I'll try to keep it well, I will, I'll try to make it not extend forever, uh, whatever I do end up talking about, because I, I doubt any of you want to watch me talk for an hour, well, unless maybe if you're drunk, then 
I'll be like entertainment. If that's the case, I should charge money. Hey, James H. guy, do you want a party? Uh, sure. How about you pay me to be there and I'll ride? That makes some money somehow, right? Yeah. Feels so weird talking to no one, someone, and everybody. It's like three sides. Nobody, somebody, and everybody at the same time. Just a different time sense. Man, I'm long. Nah. Oh, Woo. So far, come out pretty dark, tasty. Just right. My disadvantage, I'm still working. I think if I if I cook small portions, <laughs> like saying goes quality over quantity, smaller portions of this, then it'll be even both sides. This is why I would screw up big time on Hell's Kitchen, because I would have one side of the scallops cooked very nicely, and the other side would be raw probably. Or burn. Oh, yeah. So good. That's good. And again, it like depending, you can take as much time you want us to cook. Depending on your stove uh, temperature. I set it at a good medium because it's not too slow to cook. It's not too fast to burn. Uh, but I do make sure the pan's hot prior. Uh, like, I, I don't like mine burnt. I've tried my, this recipe uh, when it's overcooked and it's not great. Just not great. And if it's undercooked, it's like like eating raw potatoes. Well, it, not essentially like it is. You're pretty much eating raw potatoes. So good. Honestly, probably one of my favorite recipes. Simple with three ingredients, but oh my gosh. If it's the red skin potatoes, it goes so crazy because I love how they cook, the texture, taste, the feel. It's like, I, I don't know. It's hard to describe. But it's so good, nevertheless. Nice and brown. Oh, for any of you watching, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking of some sort of a con, the contest from before. I mean, if if I reach a hundred subscribers, I will do karaoke to the most voted song. So if you can help me jump from this 12 subscribers currently to Let's say 100, and then you tell me what song to sing, I'll sing it. Let's have some fun, right? Little challenge. Now, why do I want to do that? I'm spontaneous, I'm outgoing. I like trying crazy new things. Within sensible boundaries, of course. So, yeah, I mean, if you can do that, fantastic. So, let's see what we can do. Okay. Now I always test how the potatoes are, seeing like how uh, easy, the, like this is a plastic spatula, or, I think, I don't know what it is, the flat thing. If I can, if I can tap lightly and it goes through the potatoes, it means it's nice and soft on the inside and it's great. The next step, like I said, getting a golden, just golden crisp, like this guy, see? So good, so rad, 
Okay. Now a lot of it's coming alive. There we go. Awesome. This is another example. Um, don't try picking up boiling or burning whatever stuff at home like I am. Because it, obviously it's not safe. Ha! Ah. So, now that I finally finished cooking everything, I will show, now show well, you the end result. What I do is, after I cook it, I, I ate a bunch of it already. It's so good. Uh, I end up actually putting it with ketchup, similar to French fries, similar idea. Mm. Mm. So good. Now have a closer look. See, it's full of color. And more color, the better. Good variety, golden. This is definitely JMH guy approved. Now, uh, have a, a, whether or not I mentioned it earlier, uh, next few episodes, I am open to taking some suggestions for uh, stuff to cook. But until then, uh, I'll keep cooking some random stuff. And I got some special episodes coming up. So please like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one. Um, I'll be honest, I doubt this is going to get like a thousand views in a month or whatever. So, we'll see. Anyways, stay tuned. The JMH Guy, out. Peace.